Hey guys, it's Rebecca. Um, I wanted to post another update because I think it's been a little over a week since I did. I don't remember. Um, I'm so behind on my weeks. Things have been kind of running together. Um, as you can see by looking behind me, I'm still in the same place I was. Um, which is not at home. Um, but let me start by giving the rundown and then we'll get into a full update. So, um, as you know, I'm Rebecca. If you don't know, that means you're new to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, so I had gastric bypass surgery in October of, um, 2017. Um, I had it in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Um, my highest rate recorded was 384 pounds. Um, and that was on October 3rd, the day I started OptiVast. Um, again, surgery was the 24th of October, and the last time I weighed myself, which was two weeks ago, um, I was 264 pounds, so I have no idea if I've gained any weight or lost any weight, um, between then and now, but I'm down about 120 pounds since starting off too fast, and about 80 pounds since surgery. All in all, I think that's pretty good. I'm kind of happy with that. Sorry, I'm trying to hold my iPad to film this and not have the light be ridiculous because I feel like I look like one eye looks like I got punched in the face and the other one's like nice and bright. Um, the light's behind my bed, so it's not it's not great lighting. Sorry, guys. <coughs> and please forgive the coughing because um, last week I wound up with pneumonia um, and really bad asthma. So, I went down to our local urgent care center. Oh, excuse me. I'm so tired. Um, our local urgent care center. And um, they did x-rays and everything else. So I wound up on a really strong antibiotic um, as well as prednisone. And I don't know if any of you have had to take prednisone, um, but it's not my favorite at all um I find that it always makes me gain weight it makes my face swell up and I hate when my face swells because it just looks so like so puffy um and I don't like that so I'm like oh like this is yucky but anyways um the prednisone's done so I'm hoping that it'll kind of go away and flush its way out of my system sorry drink Still living off of copious amounts of water. Love water. Um, so, um, yeah. So I'm a little bit, like, nervous to get on the scale because, um, before surgery, if I had to take prednisone, um, and if for any of you who don't know what prednisone is, it's, it is a steroid. Um, a lot of uncontrolled asthmatics wind up on it at some point, but it does help with breathing. Um, I know that they use it for a ton of other medical things, but it is a steroid, and unfortunately one of the side effects of it is weight gain. Um, and in the past when I've been on it, I've gained like 20 pounds in a week. Like, any medication that says it can cause weight gain, I always gain weight. And like, a lot of it. It never fails. I'm gonna gain a lot, but with the surgery, I don't know if that changes and how that changes. <clears throat> um, so, um, yeah, anyways, so I did, I do feel like my face is like maybe a little bit swollen, but that could be psychological. Um, so I'm still trying to get better. So as you can tell, my voice doesn't sound the same right now. Um, I'm a little bit sad because, um, I missed my chorus practice, uh, tonight. I missed, um, the karaoke competition last Thursday. I'm probably going to miss um, the karaoke competition tomorrow. I may go just to cheer on friends, but um, I have no quality of voice to actually go sing, which sucks. It's kind of killing me because it's my favorite thing to do. It's something that relaxes me, gets my emotions out. Um, so I'm really, really missing singing, but um, a little bit longer and I should be completely healed up. 
So, um, outside of that, there's not a lot to update you guys on. Um, I've been paying attention to my Fitbit a lot. So I have, it's charging right now, but I have the, um, the Fitbit Alta. So that's it. It's currently charging. Um, I have the Fitbit Alta and I love my Fitbit. I've been using a lot for my sleep because I haven't been sleeping really well. Um, so I've been using it to track my sleep, but also I use it to, um, I've been using it recently to like really challenge myself. So I set my sub goal really, really low <coughs> because between the pain in my body and when I was like super overweight, um, it's finding it hard to even sometimes get like 2,500 steps a day. So I had set it for 5,000 and thought, okay, if I can get 5,000 steps a day, we're doing good. Um, recently I've been getting closer to 10. I still have it set to five for those days when you're sick or things aren't going right or whatever. Um, but I've been, you know, at least if I get five, if not more. So a lot of days I've been reaching between seven and 10. So I'm trying to challenge myself to get more than three days a week where I get 10 plus thousand steps. Um, so I've been trying to go out for walks, um, around my neighborhood, um, different things like that. Um, and it's kind of like a fun little challenge with myself. Um, I used to not really care what like the weekly reports were and now I'm starting to check because I'm looking at like where other people on my friends list for my Fitbit are falling, um, into theirs. And I'm like, Oh, this person's like got this many steps. I wonder if I can beat them next week. And so, um, you know, I'm not outright like challenging them, but it's encouraging me to kind of be like, Hey, no pun intended, step up your game. Um, so yeah, so just doing that and, and, uh, having fun with it. Um, I'm super excited. I realized the other day that I have been wearing a pair of size 16 jeans. Um, and I love them. They're so pretty. Um, Right now, in my wardrobe, I have everything from a size 16 to a size 22. The 22s are definitely too big. My 20s are definitely too big. Um, the 18s are getting there, and the 16s are fitting. So the last couple of weeks, I've been wearing a size 16. The first couple of times I put them on, they were not fitting very well. Like, they fit me, and I could do them up, and they were fine. But they weren't the most comfortable, and now they're starting to feel more comfortable. So I'm super excited, because one of my first, like, clothing size goals was to be in a size 14. <coughs> I've been there once before, so you can hear my asthma. Um, I've been there once before as an adult, and I wanted to get back to size 14 because I feel like in a size 14, um, at the very least, like if I stayed in a size 14 for the rest of my life, I would feel like I could shop in most stores, I can find things that fit me well, I could feel good about them. So that was my like size goal. So, um, People ask me, like, well, what's your weight goal and what's your ultimate size goal? Um, my ultimate weight goal would be 150 pounds, something I've talked about with the doctor um, previously. Not necessarily my bariatric team, but a previous doctor who said 150 pounds would be a really good target weight for me. Um, it might put me a little bit in, like, the overweight category, but I'm not um, a small girl by nature. Like, I'm only, I'm 5'5", five five height-wise. But I have really big hips by nature. I'm not um, small boned. I can already feel my ribs. Like, they're still fat there, but I can already feel my ribs. I can already feel my collarbone. So, um, so I feel like 150 pounds would put me in a, a really good spot to be super healthy um, for me. And then, clothing wise, my goal was a size 10 because then I'm absolutely guaranteed to basically shop everywhere. Um, so, if I can get smaller than a 10, that would be fantastic. But if after all was said and done, I was to balance that around a 10, I would be okay with that. I feel like I would feel pretty good at that one. So, um, so super excited to be able to wear the size 16 jean. Um, and then I wore, I went out last night and I was wearing a dress that's an extra large. Um, and I actually felt really confident in it. So, um, I'm super happy about it kind of the progress that's happening and, and whatever. I'm still dealing, dealing with a lot of like body dysmorphia. So some days I look in the mirror and I think, oh my gosh, like I can see all the differences, all the changes. 
some days I look in the mirror and I'm like, I still look so big and I can see all of the, the issues. And I don't like that. I hate that feeling. I absolutely hate that feeling. But I think it'll all balance out in the end. I just need to get through the brain games as my brain catches up to what's happening with my body and what I look, what the new look is like. Um, sorry, I keep looking at my nails whenever I flash them. I don't know if you guys can see this, but can you see that sparkle? I'm like, I'm ridiculous. Can you see that? It's called Superfly, and it's they're butterflies, um, and the, the shiny part underneath is holographic to give it all of that, like, really awesome. Yeah, anyways, I'm getting distracted by shiny things. That happens to me all the time. I love to, I went to go um, hear a speaker speak today and their shoes were like a patent, like a shiny patent leather. And every time that they'd move their feet, I was like, ooh, shiny. <laughs> it's really bad, guys. It's really, really bad. I get distracted so easily by shiny objects. Um, yeah, I totally have ADS, AD, ADOS. <coughs> um, so, yeah. Well, I, won't, I don't want to make this super long. I am having issues talking and breathing and all of that fun stuff. But I hope you all are doing well. Um, I can't wait to uh, hear from you. I love it when you guys comment. Thank you for commenting. So many of you are so, so encouraging. And it means a lot to me. To new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. To anybody who's going to come on board, I can't wait to meet with you. Feel free to share your own journeys in the comments below. I'd love to support you um, as you walk through your own journeys. If you have any questions, um, I'd love to do a live Q&A with you guys. So if you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments below. Um, and then I will actually come on and we'll do we'll do a live q and I'll let you know when it's going to be. Um, and we can do it on there. Outside of that, I do have uh, Instagram and Facebook. And if you'd like to... Um, follow me on any of those. Just send me a message and um, I will connect you with that information. Alright guys, I hope you have an amazing, amazing night, day, whatever time it is when you're watching this. And I will talk to you all again soon. Bye!